Weasel News. Devon Weston profits from Congress's decision to allow Meriwether Security Consulting to expand domestic operations. Gang crime is on the rise. Experts blame lack of movies. The funding war between security agencies rages in the Capitol. It's official. Epsilonism is not a cult. Credits roll on another historic Vinewood movie studio. The ball sack in wild swings again as stocks drop. Devon Weston, Los Santos's legendary billionaire investing guru, was celebrating along with with Don Percival, CEO of a controversial private security business yesterday. Weston announced his fund had taken an 11% stake in Merriweather. Percival, meanwhile, was happy after defeating a government plan to outlaw the expansion of Merriweather's domestic operations. Expect more privatized high-security firms to begin domestic operations as the war on terror continues to rage. Gang crime is on the rise and politicians are blaming lack of media coverage and sensationalism. The recent fall in the popularity of gang movies, focusing on both African-American and Hispanic street gangs, has led to a rise in gang violence, experts warned yesterday, as people no longer had movies to warn them of the danger of making bad choices. Movie mogul Solomon Richards and his struggling Richards Majestic Studios will be reeling today from the news that another historic movie studio, Lowenstein Pictures, has closed and will be turned into luxury condos. Will there soon be nothing left in America but reality TV and property that nobody can afford? The funding war between IAA and FIB intensifies after Congress promised to slash spending and both agencies recommend it's the other one. Cult News. Chris Formage and his fellow Epsilonists were celebrating yesterday after the Supreme Court of the State of San Andreas overturned the Revenue Service's claim that the Epsilon program was a cult and a pyramid scheme and not a real religion and therefore should have its charity status repealed. Mr. Formage, who is believed to have amassed a fortune of several billion dollars, wept on the steps of the courthouse. I'm Carl Kelly. Markets were volatile as the Bossack Index went into freefall and then got hit hard before a late rally had everyone really confused. If you want to understand more, pick up my new book, Mounting Bulls and Riding Bears. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Breaking news. A gang shootout in Puerta del Sol. Excitement is building for Life Invaders' new product launch. A breakthrough in the notorious Leonora Johnson case. The Sonora Desert, a hotbed for illegal arms trafficking from south of the border. Is the paparazzi going out of business? Some hope so. A quiet cul-de-sac erupted in gang violence yesterday as a bloody massacre left several Vagos gang members dead. A trail of devastation and no clear idea what happened or why. Police don't know if this means drug wars between Hispanic gangs have reignited or if this was simply a deal or an altercation gone terribly wrong. The smuggling of weapons from the U.S. into Mexico has transformed the Senora Desert region into a war zone in recent months, with rival traffickers including including Mexican gang Varios Los Aztecas and El Salvadorian gang the Marabunta Grande clashing over supply routes. The launch of Life Invaders' top secret but heavily marketed new hardware is just days away now and the hype is at a fever pitch as social networking fanatics prove once again that there are no limits to what people are prepared to sacrifice in exchange for the illusion of relevance and popularity. Life Invaders CEO Jay Norris will unveil the product himself on live television. Since 1975, the brutal murder and dismemberment of starlet Leonora Johnson has remained unsolved and captivated conspiracy theorists. Now, there may be a breakthrough. Ira Richards, vice president of marketing at Richards Majestic and grandson of movie mogul David Richards, told a reporter that his grandfather claimed to have destroyed a confession letter in the weeks before his death. Mr. Richards Sr. passed away last year at the age of 103. His son, Solomon Richards, has run the family studio since 1978 and told reporters he knew nothing beyond the fact his son was a moron and his father was delusional. Idiotic News. The number one industry in Los Santos after plastic surgery and therapy is crying foul. The local paparazzi union says that high-resolution camera phones are putting them out of business. Street photographer, union rep, Tyler Hughes. Any jerk with a camera phone can make money invading the privacy of celebrities. It's really hurting our hardworking paparazzi who pride themselves on harassing celebrities to the brink of death. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. 
Weasel News. Car carnage in Pillbox Hill. An upsurge in armed ATM robberies has locals concerned. Devin Weston buys steak in Richard's Majestic. Is I find street maps sharing pics of you on the toilet. A car dealership in Pillbox Hill was destroyed yesterday when a joyrider smashed into the showroom. Premium Deluxe Motorsport has come under investigation for loan scams and high interest rate financing, but the owner, Simeon Yatarian, assured police that this incident was purely an accident and not a disgruntled customer. One man witnessed the carnage. It was crazy as hell. That dude must have been tweaking. I know I am. You got a washing machine I can take apart? Following a spate of robberies at ATM machines across Los Santos, the LSPD has issued an official warning urging citizens to stay alert, afraid, and mistrustful of anybody who doesn't look like them. Los Santos prominent financial guru and investor Devin Weston made a typically unexpected move yesterday. Just as conventional wisdom is moving out of movies in general, and Videwood Studios in particular, Mr. Weston bought a significant stake in storied but under fire mini major Richard's Majestic. Head of production, Solomon Richards, son of legendary founder David Richards, welcomed Mr. Weston onto the board. Technology News. Web juggernaut iFind is sending cars with sophisticated cameras to take pictures of every street and house in America, including images of the inside of your home. CEO Trip Hammer says that having every home and its content searchable is the future. This is the future. Privacy rights advocates were booed by liberal activists who feel everything should be online free and searchable weasel news confirming your prejudices weasel news high-speed gun battle on a los santos freeway are the chinese coming after our illegal drugs now too epsilonism still growing and still popular with in crowd the transit authority announces another project residents will ignore a 60s art house classic returns to cinemas Shock and terror on the Del Perro Freeway earlier as two groups of men engaged in a high-speed gun battle over a luxury yacht. The Weasel News team was there just minutes too late, as usual, and spoke to this man. I thought it was a joke or some prank until a bullet came through the window and tore through my artery. Now, if you don't mind... I need to go to the hospital. It appears that China now wants to outsource our crime, too. At a press conference today, Globo Poll shared intel that high-profile members from a number of Chinese criminal organizations have entered the U.S. illegally in recent months with a view to infiltrate the North American drug market. Despite recent controversies, including a court case and accusations of being a cult, more and more celebrities are choosing to become Epsilonists. The Epsilon program, the Los Santos-based religion that has been derided, attacked, ridiculed, and accused of everything from charlatanism and fraud to slavery and prostitution, continues to grow. At a promotional event at the Epsilon Center in Vinewood, a spokesman told us, This is an American religion and an American success story. Unlike most American businesses, we haven't outsourced and we are expanding. We should be praised, not scorned. Transit News. The Los Santos Transit Authority announced funding for a prospective new streetcar project to the tune of $16 billion. Rails will run on many popular streets, shutting them down for years during construction, and promise to move traffic up to three miles per hour, much faster than current gridlocked conditions. Capolavoro, the incomprehensible 60s classic that typified the European art house cinema craze, is showing again in local theaters as part of a retrospective of indecipherable and pretentious movies. Well, I was thoroughly confused, but I felt better than other people towards the end. The movie is showing again in local theaters for a limited time. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A house collapses in Vinewood Hills. Vigilantes getting tough on illegal immigration. New movies Meltdown and spy thriller Deep Inside are all going green screen and plan to rack up a lot of green. What kind of person waits in line for a phone? We'll find out. A Vinewood Hills stilt home designed by famous architect Teuton collapsed yesterday. Seismologists did not notice any unusual activity, and the house passed inspection just last year. Melinda Manchester is at the scene. This homeowner is obviously distraught. Leave me alone! I don't want to talk to 
biased American media. We'll stay on this story. A group of vigilantes calling themselves the Civil Border Patrol are attempting to combat illegal immigration in San Andreas's Alamo Sea region. Police and liberal commentators have both attempted to make the group stop its actions, but so far to no avail. We've long known that actors are empty and vapid, and so are the high-tech rooms where most movies are made these days. Thanks to cheap overseas animation houses, the days of filming on location are coming to an end as CG takes over. Richard's Majestic recently announced that two new films in production will be filmed almost entirely on green screen. Meltdown, a Vinewood retelling of the financial crisis set in Liberty City, and Deep Inside, a globe-trotting derivative spy thriller, are both being shot in Los Santos. Phone news. The new iFruit phone won't be available for three months, but some losers are lining up already. We stopped outside the iFruit store and spoke with Sean Douglas, who says he can't wait. This next phone's going to be the future and finally show those losers with their drone phones who is the king. Some commentators say that iFruit's glory days are behind it as cheap clones flood the market and people remember it's only a phone anyway. We'll stay on this story as we literally have no interest in covering the real ones happening at home and abroad. Diesel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A drug deal goes very wrong. Mexican gang Los Verios Aztecas, now active in the Alamo Sea region of San Andreas. A rally of sick patients to legalize medical cocaine turns violent. Reclusive director Dreyfus back behind camera. Something went very wrong as a drug deal at a recycling plant in La Puerta turned into a violent shootout, leaving several gang members dead and police confused as to what has caused this recent upsurge in extreme gang crime. The police have called for calm and responded by flying a lot of helicopters over poor neighborhoods all night long in a show of community spirit. Rural areas outside Los Santos are reporting a dramatic increase in gang violence in areas once thought immune to the scourge of organized crime. Reports say Latino street gang Los Verios Aztecas have been shifting operations to outside of the city, a trend that worries rural residents, many of whom are irrationally afraid of minorities anyway. Proposition 208 is on the ballots and has many asking why this wonder drug was outlawed in the first place. Patients in wheelchairs and yuppies in sports cars crowded a park in Los Santos to rally for the passage of a measure to legalize medical cocaine. Many say that those suffering depression and low ego are helped by the drug. However, Things got out of hand at the rally here today as arguments broke out about things that are really, really interesting. And fights broke out about the length of lines for the bathroom. It was amazeballs. Everyone grinding their teeth, paranoid, really into themselves, just like this town. And then everyone started fighting. <laughs> Celebrity News. Legendary recluse and Vinewood eccentric Peter Dreyfus is rumored to be doing the one thing he has studiously avoided for 30 years. He's about to direct another movie. Industry insiders are overjoyed at the news. Sheila Hall at the scene. I've just spoken to a movie exec. He didn't want me to record him or use his name, but I promise you, he was here. Anyway, he told me he was really excited about the prospect of Dreyfus working again, only he couldn't remember any of his movies. Then he said actually Liking old films was counterproductive in today's movie business, but he did love roller coasters and small plastic toys, and that was more important. Back to you in the studio. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Breaking News. Jay Norris has head blown off on TV. The Lost running amok in the desert. Meriwether enters the Postal Service. The stock market destroys some dreams again. Jay Norris, Life Invader CEO and controversial champion of openness and data mining, had his data mined all over the stage when his head was blown off while giving a keynote speech to shareholders at the Vinewood Bowl. Mr. Norris was demonstrating the new Life Invader telephone when a bomb was triggered, killing him instantly. Police are unsure of the motives. Life Invader shares are down on the news. Notorious outlaw motorcycle gang The Lost have taken up residence in in the Alamo Sea and are now terrorizing the impoverished desert community. Steve Pretoria is on the scene. For years, the Lost Motorcycle Gang were involved in a non-stop war with the Angels of Death, raging across several states. Then came 2008's bloody civil war that seemed to wipe them out. Now it appears they are back and worse than ever. The gang is believed to be heavily involved in illegal arms dealing and the manufacture and distribution of crystal methamphetamine. 
Sound Effect. The world's most exclusive courier service unveiled its U.S. operations yesterday. Meriwether announced their famed courier service is coming to these shores. The service transports art, artifacts, and other precious perishables for museums, collectors, and individuals trying to avoid taxes. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. More on the Rockford Hills Jewelry Store robbery. Fame or shame is back to put shame on entertainment. MC Cliff proclaims himself a genius. Mirror Park hipsters are invading the Alamo Sea. The police have turned up two new leads in their investigation into the recent robbery of the Vangelico Jewelers in Rockford Hills. They believe the crime was tied to an attack on a humane labs and research shipment carrying BZ gas. Police also believe the van used by the robbers was recently stolen from a Bug Star pest control warehouse in South Los Santos. We will stay with this story. Fame or Shane kicks off a new season that they are promising will be the biggest thing in TV this month. San Andreas auditions are being held at the Mays Bank Arena, and the national finals will be at the Vinewood Bowl. This season is once again hosted by Laszlo, despite viewer complaints about his behavior in last season's finale. Celebrity News. MC Clip announces, I've become a genius again. I'm an influential genius, man, smarter than Einstein. Shit, I could cure diseases if I were to get a microscope, but instead... I'm rhyming about hoes, and you love it. Rap music's self-proclaimed new frontier, MC Clip, announced that his forthcoming album would help put rap music at the top of the global agenda. Combining a new sound and a new message, Clip spoke to reporters. This time, it's genetically inevitable that I would prove something real important. Combining fashion, rap music, and product pimping. I'm gonna take humanity to new places. He said that the album, The All-New Messiah, promises to save pop music. You know me, I'm like the rapper guy would want to be if, if he could rhyme, right? Upscale Vinewood types and hipsters are turning into weekend warriors, invading the rural wasteland of the Alamo Sea in search of the soul of America. In most cases, they fail to find it and do drugs instead, which are reportedly readily available in bulk at knockdown prices. Local law enforcement expressed concern while sitting in the car and playing solitaire on a smartphone instead. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Still no leads in the Rockford Hills Jewelry Store robbery. Fame or shame is back to put shame on entertainment. MC Clip proclaims himself a genius. Mirror Park hipsters are invading the Alamo Sea. Investigating officers have uncovered a new lead into the daytime robbery at exclusive Rockford Hills jewelry store Vangelico. It is thought that the guns used in the raid on the store were the same carbine rifles stolen from the LSPD SWAT van earlier this week. We'll stay with the story. Fame or Shane kicks off a new season that they are promising will be the biggest thing in TV this month. San Andreas auditions are being held at the Mays Bank Arena, and the national finals will be at the Vinewood Bowl. This season is once again hosted by Laszlo, despite viewer complaints about his behavior in last season's finale. Celebrity News. MC Clip announces, I've become a genius again. I'm an influential genius, man, smarter than Einstein. Shit, I could cure diseases if I were to get a microscope. But instead, I'm rhyming about hoes, and you love it. Rap music's self-proclaimed new frontier, MC Clip, announced that his forthcoming album would help put rap music at the top of the global agenda. Combining a new sound and a new message, Clip spoke to reporters. This time, it's genetically inevitable that I would prove something real important. Combining fashion, rap music, and product pimping. I'm gonna take humanity to new places. He said that the album, The All-New Messiah, promises to save pop music. You know me, I'm like the rapper guy would want to be if, if he could rhyme, right? Upscale Vinewood types and hipsters are turning into weekend warriors, invading the rural wasteland of the Alamo Sea in search of the soul of America. In most cases, they fail to find it and do drugs instead, which are reportedly readily available in bulk at knockdown prices. Local law enforcement expressed concern while sitting in the car and playing solitaire on a smartphone instead. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A deadly shootout at a local airport in Blaine County. Percival says Meriwether not in Port of LS yet. Several hitchhikers have gone missing in Blaine County. 
Police confused. Neighborhoods are telling farmers markets, enough is enough. Sandy Shores Airfield up in rural Blaine County resembled a war zone yesterday as the ongoing drug war escalated in another bloody incident. Gangs battled to the death in a pattern of destruction that has become all too common in the area. Witnesses spoke of one particularly crazy lunatic who police are trying to identify as they believe he may be behind several of the recent acts of violence. Meriwether Security yesterday released a statement trashing reports that they were already providing security support for the Port of Los Santos. The company has been lobbying recently for greater access to government contracts, but say so far, none have been forthcoming. Police say they're confused by the recent disappearance of several hikers in the hills of western Blaine County. A local sheriff's deputy spoke with us. We are really confused. Idiotic Liberals News. Farmers markets are popular in the Los Santos metro area, but some residents are saying enough. They are the most egotistical, uppity, annoying people on earth with their hemp clothing and always talking about kale and colonics. Stay out of our neighborhood. A recent study found that many stalls at farmers markets simply buy factory farm vegetables and meat from a local supermarket and then resell it at the farmers market to rich liberals who are mostly gullible morons. Weasel News. Confirming your prejudices. Breaking News. Bloody shootout at a meth lab in Sandy Shores. Facade hit with a data mining scandal. Wealthy residents are protesting a planned extension of the metro. The erection pill wars rage on. In Hillbilly News, more violence at the Alamo Sea where local drug dealers clashed with Chicano gang the Aztecas at the Ace Liquor Store in Sandy Shores, which is an alleged front for a methamphetamine manufacturing operation. Our reporter spoke to this man at the scene. It was terrifying. I was really scared that it would affect the street price of Crystal. I love smoking Crystal. Could Facade's monopoly of the global operating system market be under threat? Jackson Skinner, head of product development at Facade, is at the center of a data mining scandal today. Following accusations, the software company sold sensitive customer information to various governments and illegal organizations around the world. The plan to extend the Los Santos Metro to other areas of the city has some wealthy residents crying foul. Carl Kelly is on the scene. I'm here at City Hall talking to an unhappy rich person. It's a safety issue. They want to tunnel under things like schools, underground. We're not opposing it because of some race thing. <laughs> That's absurd. But it is a race thing, isn't it? Well, yeah, okay. The Transit Authority plans to move forward with the extension anyway, despite opposition from conservatives and oil companies who say it's a waste of taxpayer dollars. Penis Pill News. Has Mollus been stiffed by the competition? A controversial new drug is trying to loosen Beta Pharmaceutical's tight hand on the erectile dysfunction market. Bilkington Research's Priapol claims to be stronger, cheaper, and better for clubbing than Mollus, despite some reports of alarming side effects. Weasel News. Confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Drug wars escalate in Alamo Sea. The race for governor heats up to a boil. Loneliest robot in Great Britain wins big at the box office. Actor Gordon Henderson is suing the Star Tours bus company, but not for what you think. The war on drugs. Massacres in Blaine County as police are requesting increased resources from the state to deal with drug-related violence. The highly lucrative crystal methamphetamine trade is believed to be tied to several gang cartels. Some local politicians are calling for increased firepower and have requested either military or paramilitary support. They're both spending millions of dollars on attack ads, vigorously shaking hands with random strangers, and lying through their teeth. Yes, the gubernatorial race is in full swing, with former Vinewood stuntman Jock Cranley going up against ex-school teacher and rich divorcee Sue Murray. Residents are torn on who to vote for. I like Jock Cranley. I think he'll throttle the deficit like he used to throttle bad guys. Plus, he's had a lot of drugs and three ways in his past, so it's out of his system. Sentimental tearjerker, the loneliest robot in Great Britain is once again the top film in America. 
With moviegoers loving its whimsical charm and homespun tale of good overcoming adversity via ultraviolence, despite some parents voicing concern that some of the material was too extreme for children. Also, in entertainment news, protesters outside Weasel are upset that the once family friendly show, Republican Space Rangers, is no longer a wholesome tale about American military killing foreigners, but in an effort to widen its appeal, now includes gay storylines. A lawsuit has been filed in Los Santos Superior Court today by actor. Gordon Henderson against Vinewood Star Tours, but not for invading his privacy, for dropping his house off the map. He's not that big of a star, and he would always pretend to be getting the mail or doing something outside and then wave at the bus. His ego was slowing down the tour. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Breaking news. Drug wars at the Alamo Sea continue to worsen. Still no breakthrough in the Leonora Johnson case. Amateur sleuths continue their search. A local policeman has turned artist, and some of his subjects are upset. A series of explosions destroyed a trailer park in the Alamo Sea, leaving dozens dead in what appears were part of a deliberate attack. Stab City, as the area was unfortunately called by locals, was a local biker gang hangout. Missing persons. Following the news that a confession letter was destroyed by movie mogul David Richards, crime obsessives and amateur detectives are trying to discover who killed Leonora Johnson in a bloody and unsolved murder nearly 40 years ago. The starlet was hacked to death in a murder many believe was covered up. Now the long cold case is getting warm again. Sergeant Tim Kenner takes his police work seriously, harassing minorities, shooting their dogs, and pulling over attractive women asking for dates. But his artwork is stirring up controversy. He snaps camera phone pictures of suspects he has roughed up and then paints them as large oil on canvas prints. The paintings sell for a pretty penny among more affluent conservatives who like to surround themselves with images of people getting the business end of justice. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. The State Department says leak about leak is a lie. An attack on the set of fame or shame has its host fleeing the scene. Is Los Santos close to getting a football team and becoming a real city? Venture capitalists to buy out struggling vapid motor companies. State Department officials were scrambling yesterday to deny the veracity of a leaked report about nuclear waste spillages across our ocean floors. Sheila Hall is live. I'm at the scene. Let's hear what State Department spokesman Jim Donovan had to say. These are the kind of malicious lies and rumors that stop people from respecting their government. They are typical of the internet, which is why we are thinking of shutting it down. I mean, does anyone think it's credible that the government would lie to them about something serious? Of course nuclear power is safe, nearly as safe as oil, which is why these are the fuels we subsidize. As if nuclear waste could possibly have slipped off the deck of a tanker in a storm. The idea is ludicrous. Controversial asset-stripping venture capitalist Isaac Penny has announced his decision to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company, which is on the brink of bankruptcy. Mr. Penny has a history of desecrating companies for a fast profit, so fans of the American automobile industry are worried. Transition whoosh. Some people don't take rejection well. According to eyewitnesses at the Fame or Shame auditions at Mays Bank Arena, that's exactly what happened when the relatives of one aspiring Inspiring singer attacked Laszlo, the host of the show, who was chased from the scene. A call to Laszlo's agent was not returned. Los Santos has everything you could want. A thriving drug scene, parties every night, and celebrities in various stages of deluded meltdown. But it's a national embarrassment to not have a football team. I spoke to one disgruntled fan. It's embarrassing. Worthless cities nobody visits have pro football teams, and we don't. They should give us one of them. I miss the energy and domestic violence of a Pounders game. Officials say that the city is one step closer to getting a team as it is planning to give hundreds of millions of dollars in taxpayer money to billionaires and give them a free stadium. That was Weasel News. Weasel News. 
not a break-in. We were just practicing, say, the IAA. Globopole helping to crack down on West Coast drug trafficking. More on the tragic storm in Liberty City that has the nation caring again. My UFO crashed, claims Hiker. Eyewitnesses thought they'd seen the crime of the century. Instead, it turned out they were watching a training exercise at the IAA headquarters building in Los Santos. It seemed like a daring raid in which a suspect was snatched by a man dangling from a helicopter. But no, officials were quick to counter these rumors. Globopole has gone on a media blitz in the last 24 hours to promote their tough new crackdown on U.S. drug trafficking in the extra hope that more people will discover who the hell they are. In a recent poll asking U.S. citizens what Global Poll does, only two out of ten people correctly identified the international police force, with the other responses ranging from antidepressant medication to cartoon characters. Liberty City Storm News. The storm that ravaged Liberty City has some corporate citizens stepping up to the plate, including the gas and electric monopolies. Getting America back on its feet is important to us. Since we are a state-approved monopoly with zero interest in investing in infrastructure, we want to get the grid up and running so we can be printing money again. Globe Oil and other petroleum companies have started a fund for victims called Warming Hearts, not Warming Oceans, which fights the myth of climate change and helps citizens replace cars that were flooded in the storm. Jonah Henderson's hiking and meth holiday did not quite go according to plan. He was abducted by aliens, but that's not all. Having been abducted by aliens, he survived a terrifying UFO crash as the flying saucer exploded, leaving debris all over the state. Believe that, and you'll reason we, or at least you, are not alone, as many like-minded people have flocked to the Grand Sonora Desert and are hunting for UFO parts. Yet again, proof the great American imagination is alive and well. Tomorrow, we have an exclusive interview with the Tooth Fairy. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Philanthropist murdered at a house party in Chumash. Chad and Shanice Mulligan getting divorced. A super club is coming to East Los Santos. Partygoers at a house in Chumash were horrified yesterday when a guest was killed seemingly by a sniper's bullet. Tahir Javan was smoking on an outside terrace when he was gunned down. Police are baffled as to why this much-loved Azerbaijani-American, who was a noted philanthropist and community leader, would be targeted. Celebrity News. Despite weeks of marriage counseling, Shanice Mulligan has been unable to forgive her husband Chad after he was caught with his finger in the cookie jar. Or is that a starlet? Now with divorce lawyers licking their lips, Mulligan's famous collection of rare cars, wines, and boats, along with his many homes, will come under threat. A Vinewood agent and promoter, Rocco Pelosi, is bringing life to a desolate corner in East Los Santos. Work has begun on converting an unused warehouse into a massive multi-story nightclub that will play EDM music 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I'm ready to take some Molly. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Breaking news. Carnage as a rapper's photo shoot is overrun by gangsters fleeing a shootout. Group Sachs armored car robbery connected to IAA. Another hiker goes missing in the Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Police are befuddled. And the most expensive salad in the world comes to a Los Santos high-end restaurant. The recent upsurge in violence continues. An MC clip photo shoot in the Los Santos River turned nasty after three gangbangers disrupted proceedings and shot the place up. Police are searching for three gang members on speedophiles. Missing persons. Another hiker has disappeared without a trace, according to police. The unnamed 22-year-old man was walking alone from Polito Cove to Raton Canyon. They left home last Sunday and haven't been heard or seen since. Police don't have any leads, so are asking for increased pension benefits. This salad cost $10,000, and it was worth every penny. That's what one well-heeled diner said after finishing the most expensive salad in the city. A gourmet entree invented by celebrity chef Michael Lee Rune, who recently shot to fame on several celebrity cooking shows. He claims to toil for hours over each salad, using locally sourced wild mosses and organically unsustainable sustainable fish flown an obscene distance. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Breaking News. 
carnage as MC Clip is killed in a gang shootout. Group Sax Armored Car Robbery connected to IAA. Another hiker goes missing in the Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Police are befuddled. And the most expensive salad in the world comes to a Los Santos high-end restaurant. The outbreak of violence continues. An MC Clip photo shoot in the Los Santos River turned into tragedy as a shootout between rival gangs overran it. MC Clip, real name Curtis Cray, turned his back on the gangster life three years ago to embrace narcissistic consumption. Unfortunately, it was too late. Mr. Clip is dead. I'm here talking to a distraught MC Clip fan. It's so sad to see a mouthy egomaniac die like that. Back to you in the studio. Missing persons. Another hiker has disappeared without a trace, according to police. The unnamed 22-year-old man was walking alone from Polito Cove to Raton Canyon. They left home last Sunday and haven't been heard or seen since. Police don't have any leads, so are asking for increased pension benefits. This salad cost $10,000, and it was worth every penny. That's what one Well Hill diner said after finishing the most expensive salad in the city. A gourmet entree invented by celebrity chef Michael Lee Rune, who recently shot to fame on several celebrity cooking shows. He claims to toil for hours over each salad, using locally sourced wild mosses and organically unsustainable fish flown an obscene distance. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Group Sachs armored car robbery connected to IAA. A drone base may be coming to the area. Liberals are outraged. Frank Mathers has drowned off the coast. A Vespucci beach man is claiming he's the victim of discrimination. In a rare public statement, IAA spokesperson Lucinda Jacob confirmed a connection between her agency and the robbery of a Group Sachs armored car in Cypress Flats. She told us she could confirm the car was carrying high-value government bonds, but was unable to tell how much, where they were going, or any success in solving the crime. Idiotic Liberals News. The United States military admitted they are considering the construction of a new drone base just north of Chumash and Fort Sancudo. Citizens expressed outrage. I'm expressing outrage! See? I'm holding a sign! Many say that the drone program erodes our civil liberties. They'd much rather send hillbillies to their death overseas than be protected cheaply by a robot. Others say, sleep tight, America. Tune into some reality TV and ignore everything going on around you. Babylon is burning, they shriek, and then take a huge hit on a spliff and proceed to do nothing about it. TV producer, self-publicist, and environmentalist Frank Mathers has drowned in a submarine accident. Mr. Mathers, who was obsessed by undersea exploration, was testing a new submarine in the ocean near Polito Bay when the submarine sank and is believed to have broken apart. Mr. Mathers claimed to have great affinity with the ocean. He is survived by his wife, Abigail. Travel to Vespucci Beach and everyone has a tattoo and multiple holes in their extremities. Resident Tim Shepard filed a lawsuit against the city, saying he was told to leave for not having ink. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. The San Andreas Lotto is up to $500 million. Tattoo artist breaks world record for worst tattoo. Idiotic news. Derek Perinsky is standing in line to buy lottery tickets in a vain attempt to win the $500 million jackpot. Millions of residents are buying lottery tickets in the infinitely small hope that they can end a life of banal suffering. Despite the overwhelming evidence that millionaires are unhappy, many residents can't wait to wallow in that misery for themselves. 95% of San Andreans under the age of 45 now have a tattoo. But most are ignorant egomaniacs with no real sense of who they are. One Los Santos tattoo artist has broken the world record for worst tattoo, claiming to have inked over 500 tribal bands, tramp stamps, treasure maps, human centipede diagrams, and barbed wire biceps. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Container ship sinks in the port of South Los Santos. FIB claim money laundering rife in small banks across the country. Nonsense, says Mayor. A court says a former movie star must remain on the Star Tours bus route. 
A growing scourge is hitting the city and residents aren't happy. Are bicyclists taking over? Witnesses describe a scene of chaos in Los Santos Harbor earlier as several explosions could be seen on board a container ship, which subsequently sunk into the harbor. Reports suggest nothing was stolen and foul play is not suspected in the incident. Blaine County was one of three regions nationwide singled out as a potential target for money laundering as drug dealers focus on small regional banks with weaker systems of control. Roy Buckley, mayor of Polito Bay, accused the Bureau of typical discrimination against successful rural businesses. Celebrity News. The Los Santos Superior Court has awarded damages to actor Gordon Henderson, who recently sued when Vinewood Star Tours bus company dropped him from their route. The court said that aging and irrelevant Vinewood stars depend on the interest from fans in order to survive, and that actors have been known to commit suicide when not the center of attention at all times. The Star Tours bus company has promised to appeal. Several groups are petitioning the city and law enforcement to do something about bicycles. They take up the road. I nearly get into a collision going around them, and they dress like sissies. 90% of the people that ride bikes are assholes according to a study by the Bravado Independent Research Group. The city promised to look into the closing of bike lanes and indicated they won't be adopting any of the bike share programs that have plagued other metropolitan areas. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A record producer carjacked in Los Santos. Five died thanks to dodgy smack and orgy. A man camping in line for three months for a phone is in critical condition. Adventure funerals are the hot new way to die. We have more from a local funeral home. Los Santos record producer Chad Mulligan narrowly escaped with his life when his $3 million Z-Type was stolen in a violent carjacking. The whereabouts of the rare vintage car, one of only 10 still in existence, and the identity of the assailant are unknown. Police responding to neighbors' complaints found five rotting corpses in a condo in Polito Bay up in Blaine County. The four men and one woman were apparently involved in a sex and drugs orgy that went badly wrong. The woman, Ashley Butler from Alderney, and four local men ranging in ages from 53 to 85 all had histories of drug and legal problems. Dramatic Stinger. Workers at an iFruit phone store in Liberty City say they are worried about superfan Sean Douglas. He has been in line for weeks awaiting the release of the new phone. Douglas has promised to stay in line regardless of illness, acts of God, or natural disasters. Local Los Santos funeral homes are getting in on the latest craze, adventure funerals. Why be in a casket during the viewing when your body can be involved and posed on a motorcycle or in a sea kayak the alligator pulled you out of and mourners can see you doing the thing you loved that also brought your untimely demise? Funeral director Frank Fernworthy says many families love the new service. Yeah, man, no, no, no. What I'm trying to tell you, man, is families like seeing their loved ones body posed, mountain climbing, competitive eating, or swinging, whatever killed them that they love so much. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A record producer killed in violent carjacking. Five died thanks to dodgy smack and orgy. A man camping in line for three months for a phone is in critical condition. Adventure funerals are the hot new way to die. We have more from a local funeral home. Los Santos record producer Chad Mulligan was killed and his $3 million Z-Type was stolen in a violent carjacking in a Los Santos parking garage. The whereabouts of the rare vintage car, one of only 10 still in existence, and the identity of the killer are still unknown. Police responding to neighbors' complaints found five rotting corpses in a condo in Polito Bay up in Blaine County. The four men and one woman were apparently involved in a sex and drugs orgy that went badly wrong. The woman, Ashley Butler from Alderney and four local men ranging in ages from 53 to 85 all had histories of drug and legal problems. Dramatic Stinger. Workers at an iFruit phone store in Liberty City say they are worried about superfan Sean Douglas. He has been in line for weeks awaiting the release of the new phone. Douglas has promised to stay in line regardless of illness, 
acts of God are natural disasters. Local Los Santos funeral homes are getting in on the latest craze, adventure funerals. Why be in a casket during the viewing when your body can be embalmed and posed on a motorcycle or in a sea kayak the alligator pulled you out of and mourners can see you doing the thing you loved that also brought your untimely demise? Funeral director Frank Fernworthy says many families love the new service. Yeah, man, no, no, no. What I'm trying to tell you, man, is families like seeing their loved one's body posed, mountain climbing, competitive eating, or swinging, whatever killed them that they love so much. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Is a pro football team finally coming to Los Santos? It's open house at the Epsilon Center. Coffee, cookies, kiflam, and payment plans. Milton McElroy tells World he is happy and creative. Pro football in Los Santos. It sounds like a pipe dream where you inhale deep and the world disappears around you. But sources say it's coming close to reality if the state will agree to enough taxpayer incentives. We'll stay on this story. Cult news. It's called a truly American religion. Obsessed with celebrities, preying on weakness and offering many payment plans. The Epsilon program's Chris Fromage recently defended the religion. The question is, do the rich, famous, and good-looking become Epsilonists? Or do we Epsilonists become rich, famous, and good-looking? Well, it doesn't really matter because we have the answers to it all. Available in easy-to-understand payment plans. Who better to teach young people about self-worship, swinging, giving up their identity, and freeing themselves from conscience than celebrities? In movie news, actor Milton McElroy dismissed reports he is unhappy on the set of Meltdown, the troubled picture being shot on green screen over at Richard's Majestic's lot. He said that rumors he was unhappy were gross exaggerations and swore that audiences were going to love the picture. Weasel News. Confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Mob witness dead in plane crash. Cosplayers fight in Vinewood. A man dies after a heroic campaign waiting in line for the new iFruit phone. A private plane crashed earlier. Among the dead was Javier Madrazo, a key witness in a case against his cousin, alleged mobster Martin Madrazo. Javier Madrazo was at the point of testifying against his cousin. Without his testimony, the case will likely collapse. It's the fight many have longed to see. The Republican Space Rangers battling liberal superhero impotent rage. Well, yesterday, it became reality outside the legendary Oriental Theater in Vinewood, as cosplayers dressed as the characters got into an argument that ended in violence. The battle was watched by an assortment of tourists, zombies, and an alien. No one seems quite sure who won. Idiotic news. Sean Douglas has died after heroically standing in line for the next iFruit phone. His three-month quest ended tragically last night when he died of untreated leprosy. Local iFruit fans formed a vigil at the iFruit store. He fought the fight for all of us. You know, he wasn't afraid to upgrade. He loved phones. He died in line for the next phone. The company has promised when the new iFruit phone is released, a model will be installed at his gravestone so mourners can enjoy the exciting new features for themselves. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Filming of Deep Inside disrupted by audacious car theft. A source says baseball legend Carl Wilkins used performance-enhancing drugs. The stock market plunges deep into painful territory, and illegal immigrants begin to wonder if America is a third-world country. A multi-million dollar car rigged with special effects was stolen from the Richards Majestic lot in a daring and violent heist. Initial reports suggest some injuries and possible casualties. We'll stay on this story. Sports News. The grueling stress of being a professional athlete takes its toll in a culture where being number one is everything. And those that are number two should be put down. One anonymous source is saying that Corker's baseball legend Carl Wilkins frequently used performance-enhancing drugs before abusing groupies or visiting brothels. Critics responded in shock, saying that America's sports heroes shouldn't have to use drugs to maintain a strong, turgid erection and give that girl what she's got coming to her. 
The Bosak headed into negative territory again, expressing volatility as traders reacted to data released, the consumer confidence was down, and that people were worried that buying all this bullshit wasn't going to make them happy after all. In related news, Border Patrol agents say that illegal immigrants are returning south in droves. The dream is dead, they say. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. A Meriwether cargo plane shot down by military fighter jets. Union trouble at the Scab Rat Factory. One woman goes fertility treatment crazy on a new reality show. The U.S. Army has shot down a cargo plane believed to be carrying a large shipment of weapons for controversial private security firm Meriwether. The reasons for engagement are unclear, but some in Congress will doubt the wisdom of allowing Meriwether to operate on U.S. soil. Sound effect. A factory that makes the giant inflatable scab rat used in protesting union workers was itself engulfed in a labor dispute yesterday. Workers complained that the factory in Duke's Liberty City was employing undocumented non-union balloonists and breaking promises about pensions. 25 balloon workers and 415 scab rats went out on strike. She's like a turtle. She's dropping these kids out and abandons them. It's fertility madness. That's one man's reaction to a fertility doctor on a new reality show, pumping out puppies. One contestant on this season, named Gloria Barker, is slated to break the record for all other land mammals and some species of frog by giving birth to 21 babies at once. The show is expected to have record ratings. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Sleepy town of Polito Bay wakes up to violent bank robbery. Two hospital groups accused of rounding up homeless men to defraud the government. The sport Americans don't understand is getting commercials. Blaine County Savings Bank in quiet Polito Bay was robbed by three men who escaped in suits made of body armor. The bank robbers engaged in a rolling gun battle with police through the quiet town's main street, and it is believed that a fourth accomplice aided their escape. This is the second time Polito Bay has been in the news of late after recent allegations of corruption in its police force. Hospital and health care companies have been fighting valiantly against universal health care, arguing it will decrease profits and lead to European-style happiness and socialism. Two hospital groups, including Mount Zona, have been charged with rounding up homeless men and providing health care whether they needed it or not, then billing taxpayers a fortune. Experts say this kind of fraud will end if we stop all socialized medicine and return to a system that truly works. Pay up or die. Sports news. Nobody in their right mind watches soccer. You watch half the game with no commercials. I mean, that's really un-American. Sell me some bullshit. Experts say Americans are used to sports stopping every 60 seconds for a commercial break. In order to appear to American tastes, soccer team, the LS Benders, have changed the rules to stop the game for breaks and no longer allow ties, which experts say are for sissies. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. More trouble for Meriwether? Bull shark testosterone sales skyrocket in Los Santos. Does cosplay equal creepy? Parents groups are worried about princess robot bubblegum for boys. Meriwether's high-value cross-country courier service has been suspended indefinitely after one of their trains was hijacked in Blaine County's Raton Canyon. This is the latest in a long line of problems for the security firm since they were cleared for U.S. operations. Sound effect. Testosterone replacement has proved very popular in the last few years as vain men worry about declining virility, man boobs, and all the rest. Now, one entrepreneur, Brucey Kibbutz, is cashing in with his all-natural bull shark testosterone, harvested from real bullshit. This high-grade testosterone is now widely available in all health stores. Increased rates of violence, narcissism, and ball shrinkage show just how popular it has become. We spoke to one fan. This bull shark testosterone is great. I really pound my ex-wife with extra anger now. One area couple says enough is enough. He dresses up like a Japanese anime character. 
It's not right for a grown boy to dress like a schoolgirl. Parents are worried by the cosplay epidemic sweeping through schools and colleges. The cartoon princess Robot Bubblegum has legions of fans who dress like their favorite characters and then participate in erotic play. Her Japanese schoolgirl uniform playfully fluttering in the wind as she giggles, uh, drawing you near. Carl, hello? Uh, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, parent groups and other busybodies are petitioning the TV network to no longer air the cartoon. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Industrial espionage in Blaine County as thieves steal perfume formula. The candidates for governor are slinging shit. Literally. Movie stars are up in arms. No, not over some liberal nonsense. Over horse sex. Some highly trained thieves raided a research lab yesterday in order to steal perfume. Several men were killed as raiders carried out an audacious attack that has confused the lab's owners and criminal investigators as the robbers escaped with a new formula for cheap perfume. And no one is quite sure why. Election news. She's a lying shrew. That's what gubernatorial candidate Jock Cranley said about his opponent Sue Murray shortly after he bombarded her campaign headquarters with feces. Sue Murray says she's had enough. It's disgusting to stoop to this level in politics where we're throwing feces. But two can play at this game. The state is evenly split on which candidate they hate less. Should Rocky Danger get a star on the Walk of Fame? The horse starred in over 100 films. Western adult films, mostly. He has had sex with some of the biggest names in pornography. Movie stars already on the walk say it's indecent to include Rocky Danger and have proposed a separate walk for adult film stars. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Quiet Town in North Yankton erupts in bloodshed. Can you whip up a souffle using only ingredients from dumpsters? Freegans are at it again. A policeman fired for his life invader page. Several Chinese gangsters are dead, a grave was desecrated, and a town is scared and confused after a shootout at a cemetery in Ludendorff in North Yankton. Steve Pretoria at the scene. Thanks, Sheila. The dead are mostly Chinese gangsters with links to a Chinese gang called the Wei Chang Triad. The grave that has been desecrated was the nearly final resting place of a Michael Townley, a bank robber himself killed in the last major shootout in the area nine years ago. What caused his grave to be desecrated and the links between the two crimes remain a mystery. This is Steve Pretoria for Weasel News in Ludendorff. A homeless man in Vespucci Beach says that Freegans are the scourge of the community. These middle-class echo warriors reclaim thrown-out food. Freegans say we live in a wasteful society, and they are recycling food that would otherwise go to waste. The homeless in Vespucci promise to organize a protest. These hipsters dumpster dive because they think it's cool. Making a key shot of spoiled ingredients. They're robbing the homeless. Loser news. A policeman in Liberty City was arrested yesterday for taking pictures of victims at crime scenes and posting them on his Life Invader page. Officer Daryl Bent initially claimed his page had been hacked. Then he admitted he didn't even know what that meant. Then he said this to reporters. Dead chicks are really hot, mostly because they aren't running their mouth. Mr. Bent has been suspended. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Breaking news. Vinewood agent found murdered. Are you drinking manure? Flo says so. Vinewood talent agent Rocco Pelosi has been murdered. Pelosi, who represented the actor Milton McElroy and the director Anton Boudelet, moved to Los Santos from Alderney a few years ago. Police as yet have no leads. Pollution news. A water quality test has come up with some troubling findings for people who don't like drinking manure. Flow Independent Research, a group funded by Refreshing Flow Bottled Water, published the study, which found local Los Santos drinking water contains high levels of manure and other agricultural runoff. They recommended switching to bottled water immediately. This was Weasel News. Weasel News. 
Laszlo claims he was molested into cutting his hair. Athletes are supporting Carl Wilkins, saying they use performance-enhancing drugs, too. Talent show host Laszlo spoke yesterday about the events that caused him to change his appearance. I wouldn't do this to myself. There are dark forces out there, okay? Cults. I mean, Vinewood isn't all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Seriously. Now, if you excuse me, I, I gotta go to therapy. Penis Pill News. Over 20 professional baseball, football, basketball, and one soccer player have stepped forward in solidarity with disgraced athlete Carl Wilkins, who has admitted to using performance-enhancing drugs before sex. They say someday all men will need that pill. God bless pharmaceuticals. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Fire in the FIB building linked to data theft. And begging for money is looked down upon unless you do it on the internet. Crowdsourcing, the new fancy term for being a bum. Several floors of the FIB headquarters in downtown Los Santos were gutted by a fire yesterday. Investigators believe the blaze was started by incendiary devices hidden at two points in the building. The FIB are linking the arson to their network being compromised after it was discovered that their emergency backup server is missing. In a press conference, senior agent Steve Haynes has vowed to find the criminals behind the theft. He will be heading up the investigation. We interrupt for this breaking news. Officials announced a deal has been made to bring the Liberty City Wrath to Los Santos pending final legal approval. City official Mark Richards announced the news today. This East Coast versus West Coast battle continues, and today we want another victory. We're taking Liberty City's football team. It took a billion dollars in taxpayer giveaways, but football is as American as gentrification and fried food. Sit on the sidewalk and beg for money, and you're a leech on society. Do it on crowdsourcing website Beseecher, and you're an innovator. One local man is raising funds on the site to start what everyone considers a terrible business. But Scott Yothers is determined to guilt trip everyone he knows into handing over money. I have a lot of people who have donated 10, 15, even $100 to my terrible idea. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Helicopter crash shootout and data theft at FIB HQ. And begging for money is looked down upon unless you do it on the internet. Crowdsourcing, the new fancy term for being a bum. A team of criminals broke into the FIB's West Coast headquarters in downtown Los Santos earlier. Witnesses say they saw men parachuting in from a helicopter. The FIB claims to have shot down their helicopter. The aircraft crashed into the building, decimating several floors. The criminals were able to escape the building, and a task force headed by Special Agent Steve Haynes has been set up to bring them to justice. We interrupt for this breaking news. Officials announced a deal has been made to bring the Liberty City Wrath to Los Santos pending final legal approval. City official Mark Richards announced the news today. This East Coast versus West Coast battle continues, and today we want another victory. We're taking Liberty City's football team. It took a billion dollars in taxpayer giveaways, but football is as American as gentrification and fried food. Sit on the sidewalk and beg for money, and you're a leech on society. Do it on crowdsourcing website Beseecher, and you're an innovator. One local man is raising funds on the site to start what everyone considers a terrible business. But Scott Yothers is determined to guilt trip everyone he knows into handing over money. I have a lot of people who have donated 10, 15, even $100 to my terrible idea. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. City in panic. Massive shootout involving IAA, FIB, Merriweather, and unknown terror elements. And female bodybuilders are bringing confusing emotions to a local man. The War on Terror. We lead with the horror show at the court center, where a terror incident was foiled by a combination of forces from the FIB and the IAA. Some witnesses even believe Merriweather Security Services may have helped calm things down. Scott McSimmons is at the scene. Yes, it's carnage here, and also not a little confusing. No one is quite sure what happened, but thanks to their utter professionalism, our security forces were able to have people at the scene of the crime almost as soon as it began. An attempt to arrest a terror suspect seems to have gotten into a gun battle. 
no one is quite sure what comes next for a city in panic. Back to you, Sheila. Very worrying. Local resident Anthony King told reporters yesterday that the trend of female bodybuilders working out in Vespucci Beach is bringing strange feelings to the surface. He said they excite and revolt him with equal measure, as he thought his strange feelings for women with pronounced muscles had been buried for good in his teenage years. That was Weasel News. Weasel News. Terror at the airport. Men love it, monkeys do it, and masturbating has now won fame or shame. I find 3D street maps include upskirt shots with paid advertising. The War on Terror. A frightening scene at Los Santos International. Reports say there are multiple casualties and millions of dollars of damage. Terrified travelers fled for their lives as a high-speed chase across the runway involving police and unknown assailants left a trail of destruction in its path. This traveler was sympathetic. I don't care who died. My flight's delayed now. Ratings were improved for the recent season finale of Fame or Shame and the stunning upset by three of our closest cousins who spanked it into the history books. Despite a last-minute attempt by Tracy DeSanta to sing her way to the title with a great performance Freudians loved, the monkeys wanked their way into America's heart as they had done all season. Technology News. I find is literally going for the money shot with a new feature that takes upskirt photos, puts them online, and sells advertising. Residents were mixed on the new service. I'm glad my wife's private parts are generating money for iFind. It's nice I can log on and see her secret places anytime. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Breaking News. A movie debut has people buzzing, possibly for all the wrong reasons. Meltdown hits theaters. A woman on her front lawn dead for days before anyone noticed. And in business news, another terrible idea funded on Beseecher. Movie news. Solomon Richard's new movie Meltdown is now in theaters, and audiences are divided. Some have described it as derivative Vinewood pap, but others quite enjoyed it. I really liked the film, and the end was heartwarming. The dubbing on the talking monkey felt a little 1980s, though. 82-year-old Ethel Winthrop loved to sunbathe in a bikini, drink mint juleps, and wave at cars. So when she was on the lawn for several days, nobody thought anything of it, except she had passed away. Services will be held tomorrow. Entrepreneur Scott Yothers says he has enough money to start the business called Cheezus, where he sculpts deities out of different cheeses and sells them to weddings and bar mitzvahs. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Gold prices spike as U.S. reserves take another hit. Pictures of the inside of your house are now online thanks to iFind Street Maps. And America, she is doomed, say fleeing immigrants. Up to four tons of gold have disappeared from the supposedly unrobbable Union Depository earlier in a dramatic raid. Having hacked into the computer system to clear an unusually large shipment of gold for transfer, the criminals hijacked an armored car and convinced the bank workers to give them the precious metal willingly. The robbers were engaged by both security forces and a Meriwether security team, but escaped. The scale of the robbery led to a spike in gold prices. Illegal Immigrant News in news that will please conservatives, many illegal immigrants say they are warning family back home to stay where they are. Life is now so tough in America, there's absolutely no reason to risk death coming here. One racist idiot was pleased by the news. We had to ruin this country to make the illegals leap, but it was worth it. You might be surprised to find out that pictures of every room in your home are now online thanks to the I Find Street Maps project. CEO Trip Hammer says teams were sent from street to street using some sophisticated cameras to take pictures of the inside of people's homes. In cases where images could not be obtained, I find teams would enter the homes when residents weren't around in order not to inconvenience them. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Gold prices spike as U.S. reserves take another hit. Pictures of the inside of your house are now online thanks to iFind Street Maps. And America, she is doomed, say fleeing immigrants. 
The supposedly unrobbable Union Depository was robbed not once, but twice, with as much as four tons of gold believed to have been stolen. Two gunmen walked into the main bank demanding gold, drawing teams of police into a standoff. Meanwhile, another group of robbers drilled through the vault wall. By the time the security teams had been diverted from the standoff, the criminals had airlifted the gold out of the city. The scale of the robbery led to a spike in the price of gold. Illegal Immigrant News In news that will please conservatives, many illegal immigrants say they are warning family back home to stay where they are. Life is now so tough in America, there's absolutely no reason to risk death coming here. One racist idiot was pleased by the news. We had to ruin this country to make the illegals leap, but it was worth it. You might be surprised to find out that pictures of every room in your home are now online thanks to the I Find Street Maps Project. CEO Trip Hammer says teams were sent from street to street using sophisticated cameras to take pictures of the inside of people's homes. In cases where images could not be obtained, I find teams would enter the homes when residents weren't around in order not to inconvenience them. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Celebrity FIB agent shot while shooting TV show. Devin Weston disappears after shootout in Chumash. Gangster shot in Chamberlain Hill shootout. A prominent Chinese gang boss murdered. Merriweather to shut down domestic operations. Popular TV host and FIB agent Steve Haynes was killed yesterday while shooting a segment of his show on the Del Perro Pier in a crime police are calling suspicious. Meanwhile, a violent incident at billionaire investor Devin Weston's hillside mansion in Chumash left several security guards dead and Mr. Weston himself disappeared. Police are unsure exactly what happened. Gang news. In further violence, prominent gangster Harold O.G. Stretch Joseph and Wei Chang, a triad gang boss, were both also murdered. Residents say they are in shock. In devastating private warfare news, Merriweather has announced that it is shutting down domestic operations to focus on contracts overseas. A bloodbath at a foundry in East Los Santos is the latest in a long line of PR disasters for the private security company during its short-lived U.S. expansion plans. Stay with Weasel News for more on these stories. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Paparazzi battle over Miranda Cowan. Shocking news, as police admit up to 85% of dilutamol use is not for pain, but to get high. Two rival paparazzi came to blows while trying to get photos of TV star Miranda Cowan during a high-speed chase. Miranda, who is on a career downturn, must wonder what she's got to do to keep the media interested in her. The war on drugs. The war on street drugs may have been won, but America is popping pills like it's still the 70s. Prescription painkillers like Dilutamol, Zombix, and Aladdin are more popular with junkies than sick people. Weasel News, confirming your prejudice. Weasel News. Could an asteroid hit Earth next week? A local woman found love from government spying. Apocalypse News. Scientists say the asteroid known as QC7 will be dangerously close to Earth next week. If a collision occurs, the 1.5 mile wide space rock would cause catastrophic damage and most certainly wipe out our species. Space rocks have tried to annihilate mankind before. 50,000 years ago, an asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs after a man foolishly listened to his woman and ate a piece of forbidden fruit. Scientists warn the asteroid will pass 20 million miles from Earth, which they say is really, really close. Jeanette Adams says she is so glad the government has been collecting phone records and reading citizens' email and text messages. If it hadn't been for that, she might still be single. FIB agent Kenny Bryan contacted her out of the blue after reading her private email and postings on Life Invader. The couple are now engaged. Officials point to these kinds of heartwarming stories in defense of the much-publicized surveillance program. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Poppy Mitchell continues to spiral out of control. An American original is getting scooped up by the Chinese. 
The Poppy Mitchell meltdown continues. Police arrested her for drunk driving after a high-speed chase in Vinewood. The starlet is still claiming that the alleged recent sex tape of her is entirely innocent. I was doing yoga. Just ask Justin. They can make anything look like sex from the right angle. Transition whoosh. It's American as apple pie and painkillers, but lager beer is being sold to the Chinese. The classic American beer, known for its tasteless, watery flavor, was advertised as being made by real American rednecks for American rednecks. It was purchased by Maha Ling Beverage of Shanghai for $4.2 billion. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. A princess in a drug scandal. Another tragic car accident has local residents saying that something has to be done about the local wildlife. Wayward young British royal Princess Georgina has been filmed buying drugs. We went to the street in search of some intelligent response to this scandal, but all we could find was this man. British people are all drug addicts. That's why their teeth are so bad. They invented meth in 1762. Rural News. Nature has gone too far, says Gretchen Henderson. The suburbs and outskirts of Los Santos are undergoing what some say is an apocalyptic plague. Invasive species harass residents of gated communities who moved to the wilderness in order to live a stress-free life away from deer. Local governments are discussing a massive poisoning initiative in order to reset the balance. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Breaking news. Dreyfus dead in vigilante killing. Another bicyclist killed on LS streets. Police say he deserved it. Movie news. Peter Dreyfus has been found dead in an apparent vigilante hit after he was linked to the 1970s murder of a starlet. A reclusive and controversial genius, Dreyfus enjoyed a career of spectacular highs and self-inflicted lows. Now, he is dead and his reputation is in tatters after he was linked with the death of Leonora Johnson. Jose Hernandez had straight A's in college, loved watching baseball games and riding his bike. It was that foolish activity that got him killed. Young people need to realize this isn't a game. Riding a bicycle doesn't make sense in this city. Get a car or get the hell off the streets. Police say they will focus on a campaign to ticket bicyclists. This was Weasel News. Breaking news. A cult leader flees. Vinewood hotels are swinging with parties, and you're not invited. Cult news. Controversial cult leader Chris Formage has fled the Epsilon Center, allegedly with a large sum of money. We'll continue to bring you more on this story if nobody kills us first. Stop by hopping Vinewood hotels like the Gentry Manor and the Hookah Palace, and you will see the beautiful people of this city mingling, partying, and trying to find work in another film. But who is actually staying at these hotels? Mostly it's not tourists, but celebrities who live nearby but decide they need extra pampering during film shoots. Celebrities argue that's the mark of success, wasting other people's money. This was Weasel News. Breaking news. Love Fist's Willie McTavish attacked. The state's most successful business is branching out. One corporate prison company says it's buying the corkers. Willie McTavish, the bass player for Love Fist, has been involved in a bizarre attack by a crazed fan. Police say he had one of his signature gold teeth stolen after a show at the Tequila La Club. Sports news. It's an American success story. Convince the government to privatize jailing its errant citizens, lobby for harsher laws, and let the profits roll. The company Incarcerate U.S. has announced they have turned record profits this year and are looking to purchase the Los Santos Corkers. Many of our inmates are baseball fans, so we thought this was the next step, especially since more and more of our population is incarcerated each year. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Empty head and a great rack. Panic Girl cheerleader tryouts begin today. And why a local nudist will no longer be serving empanadas. Sports News. They are the best part of sporting events. Hot girls bouncing up and down, reminding us of our failures in life while we look on and numb ourselves with another overpriced beer. 
Cheerleader tryouts for the Los Santos Panic began today, and Teresa Smith says she can't wait to be a Panic Girl. Oh my God, I've always wanted to shoot t-shirts at men. I have real aggression issues after my dad abandoned me and my mom. She said, it's always been her goal to cheer on moody basketball millionaires in tight clothes. Food trucks are all the rage for people that enjoy cuisine made in a tiny bus. But one favorite hipster nudist food truck was shut down by health inspectors today. A local resident says he's glad. Who cooks in the nude? I certainly don't after getting third degree burns on my penis. This was Weasel News. Breaking news. Supermodel Carrie McIntosh and her dog attacked. A fitness guru is busted in a massive smuggling operation. Hot Chicks News. A homeless man attacked supermodel Carrie McIntosh and her pooch while shopping on Portola Drive in Los Santos. He made off with a $3,000 collar after chasing the dog down the street. Officials believe he will probably sell it for drugs. Fitness guru Derek Milanese pleaded guilty in court today after being busted smuggling rhinoceros horn and other prohibited animal parts. The contraband was mixed with his highly successful fitness powders, promising great abs, fantastic erections, and reduced IQ. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Los Santos traffic is so bad that one woman carpools with a dead body. What will it take for you to use public transit? Transit News. When police pulled over a car on the Del Perro freeway, they discovered a decomposing body in the passenger seat, which turned out to be the woman's dead husband. One witness on the scene told reporters, I looked over and the car was full of flies. The woman said she had every intention of burying the body soon, but she wanted a last few days in the carpool lane. The Los Santos Transportation Authority announced a new campaign to encourage people to take public transit. We know many of you feel that only losers take the bus or train in this town, and in many ways that's true. But what will it take for you to leave your car at home and take the bus? What do you want? On-time arrivals? Regular service? Strippers on the buses? Well, we're not doing any of that. The Transit Authority promised a new TV commercial that will turn things around. This was Weasel News. Breaking news. Al DiNapoli abducted in bizarre kidnapping. Want to listen to private phone sex calls? Join the war on terror. Al DiNapoli has been abducted following a high-speed chase through Los Santos that didn't just end in a hospital. It went through the hospital and out the other side. The actor is still missing, and the incident has the whole of Vinewood on edge. Justice News. Pedophiles are everywhere thanks to liberals, but a new program has law enforcement teaming up with a reality TV show to catch creeps. One FIB agent we met spends all day pretending he's an underage girl to attract perverts. Agent Rivera says the pressures of the work cannot be underestimated. Dressed in a short skirt and holding a lollipop, he said, I'm getting paid taxpayer dollars to pretend I'm a hot girl and chat with creeps. My wife says it's changed me. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Breaking news. Al DiNapoli has been murdered. Is your phone really more entertaining than your spouse? Actor Al DiNapoli is dead found murdered in the most gruesome way imaginable on the train tracks near the Palmer Taylor Power Station. Police say the investigation is ongoing. Phone news. Marriage counselors say that smartphones are killing relationships. As soon as she starts running her mouth, out comes the phone. I've heard all her shit before anyways, but Life Invader is new every few seconds. Life Invader is now the number one source for escaping your present reality. Finding that girl in high school you always liked and then ruining your marriage on a deluded dream. This was Weasel News. Breaking news. Al DiNapoli is alive and well. Is your phone really more entertaining than your spouse? So the Al DiNapoli kidnapping drama has had a happy ending after all. And the actor is reportedly home and in good health. DiNapoli is refusing to press charges of any kind and just wants to put the whole ordeal behind him so that he can move on with his life and try to spin the media attention into some kind of comeback career. Phone News. 
Marriage counselors say that smartphones are killing relationships. As soon as she starts running her mouth, out comes the phone. I've heard all her shit before anyways, but Life Invader is new every few seconds. Life Invader is now the number one source for escaping your present reality, finding that girl in high school you always liked, and then ruining your marriage on a deluded dream. This was Weasel News. Breaking news. An extreme sports enthusiast found dead in Vinewood Hills. FIB says drug smugglers getting more ingenious. Dom Beasley, a hedge fund whiz kid and extreme sports fanatic, has been found dead at the bottom of the Land Act Dam in what police are calling an idiotic attempt to defy gravity that could only ever have ended one way. Drug smuggling news. Submarines and tunnels are passé. Now, the FIB tells us, drugs are flooding the country inside animals. At a press conference yesterday to remind everyone that the war on drugs is still going on, several agents spoke to reporters. They smuggle drugs and anything they can. Had a trained dolphin that carried coke in his ass. Another agent said he frequently gave cavity searches to anyone and anything he could. He believes stop and search should be expanded horizontally and vertically. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Breaking News. A pharmaceutical CEO found murdered. Redwood Cigarettes prepares to do battle in the courtroom. Crime News. Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, the company that manufactures controversial new heart-stopping erectile dysfunction drug Priapol, has been found murdered in Los Santos. With Beta Pharmaceutical share price already spiking on the news, there won't be many Mollus investors weeping tonight. The 700 attorney strong Redwood Cigarettes legal team is preparing to take on its 83rd class action lawsuit of the year. And it's such a foregone conclusion that most people appear to have simply stopped caring. Who cares? I only smoke electronic cigarettes now so I can look like a real dick. The tip glows blue. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Four jurors in the Redwood Cigarettes class action lawsuit have been murdered. Women are desperate, says 80-year-old Bob Killington, who is marrying a 25-year-old. In a shocking turn of events for the Redwood Cigarettes class action lawsuit, four members of the jury have been murdered in Los Santos, all within hours of each other, causing turmoil on the stock market. The news has already seen a bump in the debonair cigarettes share price. Anti-smoking advocates say they will press on. Transition whoosh. Steel magnate Bob Killington is 80. His wife is 25. She says the age gap isn't an issue. What can I say? Us women are adults attracted to money and power. I'm not very smart, and he likes me that way. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A software executive has been killed. Markets are reacting to that and other news. Buy my book. In stock market news, Fruit's share price is on the rise following the murder and possible anti-capitalist assassination of Facade's head of product development, Jackson Skinner. The company promised to keep making their word processing software less useful with each iteration. I'm Carl Kelly with this Money Report. Trading was heavy today as indices and reports indicated a bumpy ride for people hell-bent on gambling on the future of American businesses who pay little taxes, take massive exemptions, and get bailouts when things get tough. Thankfully, we report on celebrity meltdowns to keep you distracted from the financial catastrophe happening all around us. How can you make a million in less than a year in the stock market? By buying my book. Mounting Bulls and Riding Bears by Carl Kelly. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A major automotive deal falls apart after a brutal murder. A hundred and fifty million dollar house? While you're a failure, some locals are living a high life. In the latest of a string of shocking terrorist hits on prominent businessmen in Los Santos, venture capitalist pioneer Isaac Penny has been murdered by an assassin masquerading as a bus driver. As a result, the leveraged buyout deal of Vapid Motor Company has collapsed. Imagine a home with a dozen bathrooms, a bowling alley, chocolate fountain, and a shark tank you can throw unruly strippers in for your delight. 
These kinds of luxury properties are being sold by an elite real estate group called Windsor Real Estate. In a town of wanton excess and greed, it's your home that defines who you are, they say, and making millions of dollars in commissions for listing a property on a website is the reality of the world today. This was Weasel News. Breaking News. A shootout at a construction site claims the life of rumored mafia boss Enzo Bonelli. The winner of a tolerance award caught making racial slurs. The murder of real estate developer Enzo Bonelli in a shootout at a construction site in the Pillbox Hill area of Los Santos is being investigated by police. Bonelli had rumored ties to organized crime. The incident has seen the Gold Coast development share price rally in recent trading on the assumption that some of Benelli's large building contracts will soon be up for grabs. Metro News. It was just last month that Brett Parkin stood on the stage at the Vinewood Bowl and was given an award for promoting racial and sexual tolerance in Los Santos. But in a gushing wave of drunken hypocrisy, Parkins unleashed a tapestry of offensive remarks on Bleeder last night, including calling gubernatorial candidate Sue Murray a tranny who probably likes to take trains with foreigners. A spokesman for Murray said she had reached out to many foreign nations but never taken a train. Weasel News. Weasel News. Police say arms trafficking is running rampant in the Sonora Desert. Residents are afraid drones are on the way. Government officials remain profoundly worried by the volume of arms trafficking in the Sonora Desert, with multiple shipments passing through the desolate region every day. We spoke to an official. We are profoundly worried. Profoundly. Loser News. Residents are afraid drones are coming to America. It's scary. All this time I've been fighting for more guns and no background checks. The Second Amendment is about fighting government tyranny, but now some geek a thousand miles away can push a button on a laptop and a drone can wipe me out from space. Now I'm really paranoid. That was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. A local man becomes aggressive and then passive in an email. The Corkers lost in extra innings last night. Electronic communication is causing rising levels of both passive and aggressive behavior, say experts, saying many people express the behaviors at the same time. Psychiatrists are worried that the internet and smartphones are creating a civilization that can't focus on anything, does nothing but whine, and is desperate for attention. Every day, millions of Americans seek meaning in a smartphone, only to stare into an unblinking void. Sports News. It's being called the longest game in baseball history. Last night, the Corkers lost in extra innings against the Boers. At midnight, the game had already stretched on for eight hours, having started at four o'clock in the afternoon. But it was still only halfway through. The tie wasn't broken until after daybreak. By then, many of the fans had gone home to look in the mirror and finally admit that the one truly American sport is as tedious and greedy as the country is. This was Weasel News. Breaking News. Isaiah Friedlander killed. Good taste may have finally died off in this town. Radio host and author Isaiah Friedlander was murdered by an unknown assailant yesterday. The psychiatrist only recently rose to fame following the publication of his hugely successful book about his relationship with an idiotic, if terrifying and amusingly deluded sociopath and apparently retired bank robber he codenames Marky DeSantos. Market analysts are warning that the last residents in town with taste are dying off, leaving many to worry what this means for the local art and real estate market. Architectural gems are languishing on the market as local celebrities and the newly rich are buying tacky plastic mansions. Experts also warn that a glut of new art galleries opening up are mostly full of crap overpriced art that for some reason people are buying. Weasel News confirming your prejudices. Breaking news. A mass suicide at a cult camp. And how turgid is too turgid. Cult news. The altruists were a terrifying cult of isolated baby boomers who lived in the hills. Now it seems most are dead after a mass suicide or ritualistic shooting that police are investigating. 
Marcella Gonzalez is on the scene. It's carnage here in the woods. The group seem to have annihilated themselves, with many crowded around an area used for what appears to be ritual sacrifices. All seem to have been late middle-aged people who expressed dissatisfaction with modern life. They love guns and swinging, along with a ghoulish predilection for human flesh. Back to you, Steve. We will stay with this story unless we're told not to. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Adult film stars are protesting the only way they know how. A protester has been knifed to death at a protest over the shooting death of a protester the day before. Sex News. Jasmine, a local porn star, is upset at the new law requiring adult film actors to wear condoms. The actresses have told city council to let them make terrible life decisions on their own. The government should stay out of my vagina. In fact, most people should until this little problem clears out. Heartbreak today as a man was killed at a protest against violence. Henry Diaz was knifed to death at a protest against the death of Martin Smith, who was shot at a demonstration the day before. Smith was campaigning to stop crowd violence in a response against excessive police brutality. There will be no more protesting against police violence. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Empty head and a great rack. Panic Girl Cheerleader Tryouts begin today. And why a local nudist will no longer be serving empanadas. Sports News. They are the best part of sporting events. Hot girls bouncing up and down, reminding us of our failures in life while we look on and numb ourselves with another overpriced beer. Cheerleader tryouts for the Los Santos Panic began today, and Teresa Smith says she can't wait to be a panic girl. Oh my God, I've always wanted to shoot t-shirts at men. I have real aggression issues after my dad abandoned me and my mom. She said it's always been her goal to cheer on moody basketball millionaires in tight clothes. Food trucks are all the rage for people that enjoy cuisine made in a tiny bus. But one favorite hipster nudist food truck was shut down by health inspectors today. A local resident says he's glad. Who cooks in the nude? I certainly don't after getting third degree burns on my penis. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Los Santos traffic is so bad that one woman carpools with a dead body. What will it take for you to use public transit? Transit news. When police pulled over a car on the Del Perro freeway, they discovered a decomposing body in the passenger seat, which turned out to be the woman's dead husband. One witness on the scene told reporters, I looked over and the car was full of flies. The woman said she had every intention of burying the body soon, but she wanted a last few days in the carpool lane. The Los Santos Transportation Authority announced a new campaign to encourage people to take public transit. We know many of you feel that only losers take the bus or train in this town, and in many ways that's true. But what will it take for you to leave your car at home and take the bus? What do you want? On-time arrivals? Regular service? Strippers on the buses? Well, we're not doing any of that. The Transit Authority promised a new TV commercial that will turn things around. This was Weasel News. Weasel News. Bring your assault rifle to work day. Cancel. A celebrity ghost is spooking guests at a local hotel. Second Amendment activists and gun nuts were horrified after Bring Your Assault Rifle to Work Day was canceled. The annual Friday Jamboree, in which gun enthusiasts show high-caliber weaponry to co-workers, has been a hit for the past five years. Although last year, there were 109 deaths associated with the event. Lobbyists are already campaigning to bring back concealed handgun Thursdays in parts of the Midwest. Movie news. The famous Gentry Manor Hotel has been the site of many a celebrity overdose or adulterous romantic encounter since it opened in the 19th 1920s. Many guests say that the hotel is haunted. Tourist Janine Swanson told us she was disappointed at her celebrity ghost encounter. Please, celebrity ghosts are just as boring as the real live ones. They just roam around neurotically talking about themselves. That was Weasel News. Weasel News. Los Santos is parched. 
and some say Canada is the answer. A man rejected by his family over his annoying gluten-free diet. Transition whoosh. Canada is often derided by Americans who have never traveled and think that the country is full of women that chop down trees and don't shave their legs. And while that may be true, it is a place that has a lot of water. Los Santos city officials are considering building a pipeline to Canada and draining their lakes dry. One local resident agrees with them. That's our water. We are thirsty. We have farms in the desert that need water. We'll stay with this story. A local man is homeless after his constant anti-gluten preaching became too much for his family, friends, and work colleagues to handle. His sister spoke to Weasel News last night. Nobody gives a rat's ass that you don't eat gluten. People with food allergies should be put down. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Do back rubs get you laid? One creepy chiropractor says so. A medical marijuana university falls on hard times. Loser News. A local chiropractor says the simple act of rubbing a woman's back often leads to sex. Mike Evans claims to have slept with over 3,000 women, despite being really creepy and rather sweaty. The Chiropractor Association of Los Santos is offering introductory courses to anyone interested in this line of work. The Los Santos Medical Marijuana University says they may have to shut their doors. Professors are often incoherent. Students forget to come to class. The dean of the university, which was originally set up to supply dispensaries, say that they are considering switching to teaching people to manufacture medical cocaine if Proposition 208 passes. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Los Santos and Beijing are in a fierce battle to see who can become the most polluted city in the world. The automobile industry gets rich on the back of a storm it probably caused. Pollution News. Los Santos residents are excited at the announcement of a contest between Los Santos and Beijing for the title of world's most polluted city. We're going to win this one. China doesn't stand a chance. Come on, Los Santos. Let's show them America don't back down. Or recycle! The storm that recently ravaged Liberty City has a silver lining after all. The automobile industry is booming thanks to the complete catastrophe where hundreds of thousands lost their homes and cars. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Construction has begun on the Canada to Los Santos pipeline. New development in the I Find Streetcar scandal. Canada has three things. Really strong weed, boring ice sports, and pristine drinking water. Los Santos city officials have announced that the San Andreas Aquifer is nearly dry and mostly polluted. So construction has begun on a pipeline that will bring Canadian lake water to thirsty residents here. A city official said, quote, draining pristine wetlands has been brilliant for the environment here. So local governments in Canada who sold us water rights have a great future to look forward to. Tech news. The I Find streetcar scandal continues to worsen, with reports that alongside massive data theft, they have been instructing drivers to prioritize the download of sexy home photos and videos so they can monetize them online with paid advertising without the user's consent. The mood at iFind's corporate headquarters today was said to be pretty much the same as always. A bunch of nerds in shorts and flip-flops riding unicycles around and playing ping pong. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Los Santos cemeteries are renting out space for music festivals and raves. Can Prop 208 save a local medical marijuana university? It's the only real estate in town left with any authenticity. And that's the exact reason cemeteries are renting out space for weddings, birthday parties, and product launches. Partygoers say it puts things in perspective to face death at every turn. Sound effect. First it was medical marijuana. Now, medical cocaine is on the ballot in the next election. And it is propped to await that a local medical marijuana university is hoping will keep it from shutting its doors. The dean had this to say. Just like harvesting medical marijuana, making cocaine is a spiritual process, often involving organic elements like coca leaves, water, cement, and super unleaded gasoline. Officials hope that more narcotics universities will spring up 
teaching future generations useful knowledge, not irrelevant things like science and math. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. City officials are worried that Beijing may beat Los Santos in the quest for most polluted city in the world. Is hip-hop dead? Some local experts say so. Local tourism officials are worried that Los Santos may come in second for most polluted city in the world. Beijing has been inching ahead in recent days with a thick toxic smog that has killed 15,000. The Los Santos City Council is encouraging residents to leave cars idling all weekend in an effort to claim back the title. Hip Hop News. Hip Hop. It began as lyrical urban poetry, but has been desecrated beyond repair. The final nail in the coffin is the trend of nerdcore, in which geeks rap about sci-fi and the RPG video games like Loot and Wank. The hip-hop community says they're planning to meet this weekend to discuss how to bring misogyny and pointless violence back into the art form. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Hundreds arrested in a brawl at a sheriff's birthday party. And residents say the cockfighting bar and grill is a fun night out for the adventurous. Rural News. Law enforcement in Blaine County is operating on a skeleton staff today after a massive brawl at a sheriff's 40th birthday bash ended in hundreds of arrests, most of them police officers. The fight reportedly broke out during a heated debate over the use of mace being for pussies. This is the second time in months that police had to be arrested. This was Weasel News. Weasel News. A man sues u tool after burning house down. And a safety ruling that's bad for jobs. Idiotic News. A man is trying to sue u tool after burning down his house in a rewiring incident that he blames on supplies he bought at the home improvement store. A spokesman at u tool told reporters. It's not our fault our customers are morons. Half of them chopped their fingers off pretending they're a home improvement guy. A spokesman for Los Santos t-shirt manufacturer Universal Uniform expressed dismay at proposed new safety rules in the workplace. Marcella Gonzalez is on the scene. I'm here talking to corporate Chill Luke Nathan, who's really upset his stock options have gone down thanks to the new rules. A few people are gonna lose fingers. That's called manufacturing. Stop crying to your lawyer. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Are you ready for some artisanal cocaine? Swedish rapper Stockholm Syndrome says he understands about struggle. Los Santos Medical Marijuana University is gearing up to teach residents how to make artisanal cocaine if Proposition 208 passes. The university will instruct students how to make cocaine in a range of flavors, including pineapple, coconut, menthol, and for those cocaine aficionados that miss the taste of authentic cocaine from the smuggling heyday, Guatemalan butthole flavor. Hip Hop News. The gritty Euro rapper known as Stockholm Syndrome has flown into Vinewood on a wave of record label publicity hoping he will breathe life into the dying gangster rap genre. The only problem, Syndrome comes from the country with the highest standard of living on Earth. His tales of state medicine, elk hunting, conflict resolution, and snowshoeing are very powerful. But will they resonate with American audiences? Only time will tell. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Police break up a fight of drunk and angry police at a PBA barbecue. A local cock has been shot, officials say. A gathering of over 100 local Los Santos police and sheriff officers erupted into a massive brawl at a barbecue yesterday. Witnesses say that the boiling rage, racism, and feelings of resentful inadequacy mutated into an overwhelming force once they were all together in one place drinking. One woman witnessed the fight. Cops are angry dicks. It's good to see some cop-on-cop -cop beatings. The officers responsible were let off with a warning. Loser news. Witnesses say a cock has been shot, and the picture is spreading like wildfire. Adam Ravine took a picture of his penis Wednesday night and sent it to Felicity Mason, who quickly sent it to her BFF, who then totally, like, 
sent it to everyone. Ravine is not responding to requests for an interview, but issued a statement that he had just had a cold shower. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. I'm not the tool here, says home improvement accidental arsonist. I find is downloading everything in your house right now. Lambasted in the press in recent days, the man who is trying to sue you tool after literally getting his wires crossed and burning down his house has come out to defend himself, saying that this is not a case of a bad workman blaming his tools, but rather a case of an excellent workman blaming substandard tools he was sold on false information. Tech news. Internet darling I find, which has figured out an ingenious way to make money off of everyone else's content and privacy, announced a new initiative that will send I find vehicles down all streets in order to download data from your computers, tablets, and phone via your Wi-Fi. The company said that this will allow you to quickly search the internet for your own personal data, making your life much more organized and secure. That was Weasel News. Weasel News. War winners in the aftermath of the Liberty City storm. Illegal immigrants say America is worse than third world countries. Businesses across the country are rallying to capitalize off the storm that ravaged Liberty City. First the gas and electric monopolies, then the automobile industry, and now social networking websites are in on it, shilling massively discounted vouchers for hotels and restaurants damaged in the flooding. Illegal Immigrant News. Illegal Immigrant Miguel Gonzalez is not alone. He's upset with America and heading back home. I called my family and said, I'm coming back home. Mexico is a kickwack compared to this crazy ass place. Officials worry that the trend spells trouble for a nation now unaccustomed to doing any real work. That was Weasel News. Weasel News. Sexamia sufferers retreat weekend pitches hotel into chaos. Americans tell their government to please spy on them. Sex News. A hotel in Puerto del Sol was plunged into Bacchanalian anarchy when a support group for sufferers of sexomnia began to molest other hotel guests and a small riot erupted. Sexomnia, a condition where people act out sexual desires while sleeping, is a disputed disease with many doubting its existence. Either way, for some hotel guests, it was all too much. The recent announcement of an iFind program to download data from people's computers, tablets, and phones via Wi-Fi routers has the overwhelming support of the community, experts say. A recent disclosure that the government was conducting illegal surveillance of Americans' phones and internet activity was met with a collective shrug as people are totally excited about those masturbating monkeys on fame or shame. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Want to follow in the footsteps of your favorite celebrity, alive or dead? Los Santos is number one. The city has just won the beloved title of most polluted city in the world. The Hookah Palace Hotel is offering new packages to vacationers. The Jez Torrent package comes with a keg, full bar, and piles of blow. Just like the famous night that he shat himself in the elevator and went running out into the street naked. The Tommy the Nightmare Smith package gives you exclusive use of the pool, your own DJ, to make you feel like a superstar before drowning in your own vomit. Just like the legendary rock guitarist did. Pollution News. Residents of Los Santos are smiling through the smog. The city recently won back the coveted title of most polluted city in the world. The party and litter spilled out into the streets of Vespucci and Del Perro. Ha ha! We won! You hear that, Beijing? USA! 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 Weasel News. Confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Guests say that the world's first 100% self-sustaining eco-hotel stinks. Crime scene cleaner can't find love. Guests at the world's first 100% self-sustaining eco-hotel in Norway are complaining about the smell and skin rashes caused by the decision to make the walls out of dried human compost. If I wanted to sleep on a pile of used car tires, I'd get a heroin habit. A Los Santos city official is trying to find love. Only problem is, Gary Malpass is a crime scene cleaner, a job he says is turning the ladies off. 
Let's hear what he's got to say. Women just aren't interested in cuddling with a guy who spent the day cleaning brains off the wall. As a result, Mr. Malpass has decided to do like many proud Americans before him and invent a fake biography for a new life lived only online. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. The drug epidemic of toilet cleaner is sweeping across the city. Another 95-year-old water main breaks in Liberty City. The war on drugs. Smoking the drug known as toilet cleaner was once confined to rednecks. But officials say now that it's crossed into damaging middle-class lives, we should all be worried. One local woman says the drug is dangerous. It was awful. I woke up and my mouth tasted like crap. Doctors say smoking the drug makes users consume feces. In the third such incident this week, a 95-year-old water main broke in Liberty City flooding a two-block radius of houses, prompting residents to ask again, if we're supposed to be the leader of the free world, why does our plumbing date back to before women could vote? Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A local man has been taught a life lesson at a Los Santos University stabbing. A legendary philanthropist honored. The cost of college is skyrocketing, with students often going into debt for $100,000 to $200,000. But Los Santos U sophomore Timothy Edwards says he has learned a valuable life lesson at the school when he was stabbed at a football game. I learned that people take football very seriously, and if you disrespect another man's team, he will stab you in the face. College has taught me a lot. A prominent philanthropist and star of the Black Tie Benefit Gala Circuit was honored last night for the services to philanthropy and altruism in the state at a gala thousand dollar a seat event attended by many of the city's great and good. Life is about awards dinners, patting ourselves in the back and tossing some coins to the less fortunate. All proceeds went to the next awards ceremony in which people will honor the city's most generous awards show hosts immediately after the annual award show for best awards show dinner. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A crucial pipeline from Canada has been bombed. Los Santos has won a culinary award for exceptional food poisoning. The War on Terror. Canadian insurgents are claiming responsibility for the bombing yesterday of the Trans-Canadian to Los Santos Hydro Pipeline, which is still under construction but is already bringing much-needed water to the state. The terrorist organization says that Canadian water is for Canadians, eh? And then they drunkenly rambled about hockey, maple syrup, and free health care. City officials are celebrating as the city has won the coveted FPA, or Food Poisoning Award. A reality TV show hosted by celebrity chef Ricky Benettini shot their entire last season traveling from shanty ethnic food huts to dingy food trucks in a town that is yearning for authenticity and ending up stooped over a toy as a result. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Strippers are coming to local buses. Tired of $18 drinks at snotty poolside parties in Vinewood? Head to the Alamo Sea. Transit News. The Los Santos Transit Authority announced yesterday, in a complete about face, that they would be implementing a new program to increase ridership on city buses. Strippers will be in each bus to entertain riders. An official said the strippers will typically be the kind you see at flesh joints during the day, often addicts with a few bullet hole scars. But nonetheless, they will be there to bump and grind on riders to thank them for riding Los Santos Public Transportation. It's well known that rich people appear happy, but are really miserable bores. If you're looking for some real excitement, travel agents are saying city residents should go on a package tour to the Alamo Sea. The buses leave on Friday, and vacationers spend their weekend discovering the real America. One vacationer says it's great. Man, I love to go out to Blaine County. Poor people party their asses off. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. The nuclear family could be history if a local proposition passes. Police chases are great for ratings, say local networks. Transition whoosh. In the state of San Andreas, a place of swinging, drug-fueled ego and lust, a marriage has long been anything you want it to be. 
Now locals are hoping that Proposition 42 passes and the nuclear family is outlawed once and for all. Police officials are accusing TV networks desperate for ratings of faking police chases that are then broadcast live on the news. One official said that the CNT news practice of allowing companies like Bravado to sponsor police chases is causing the problem. This was Weasel News. Weasel News. Is another bailout plan for carmaker Bravado? And how to know if she's been with another man. And how vodka can help your clarity. Liberals are morons. Many politicians have criticized the bailout program that rescued the banks and automakers, and now the car company Bravado is asking taxpayers to double down on a second bailout. They recently spent $23 billion of taxpayer money on a green car initiative that ran on consumer batteries. However, people who tested the car complained of the time-consuming task of buying and installing over 8,000 AAA batteries before each journey. This was Weasel News. Weasel News. Hipster loses colon after eating Los Santos River sashimi. Divorced mothers love social media. Loser News. A man lost his colon yesterday from eating Los Santos River sashimi. And health authorities are warning citizens that, while the return of fish to the LS waterway is extremely positive for the city, it's likely to be another 20,000 years before they are in any way safe for human consumption. It's good to see that river full of life even if it is invasive species from overseas. In the old days, it was singles bars, before that, tennis clubs, before that, loneliness and social disgrace, or going on the game. Now, divorcees are finding love on the internet, which is uniting desperate, premenopausal women with creepy, lonely, younger men. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. A dangerous chase down a Los Santos freeway today. A local motivational speaker is making everyone feel less motivated. Metro News. A spectacular race down a Los Santos freeway today was caught live by CNT News Choppers. For the better part of an hour, the man evaded authorities with daring maneuvers, causing a massive spike in ratings. Police say that the suspect, Steve Ingram, revealed during questioning that he is an intern for CNT News, and the company put him up to the chase in a quest for TV ratings. CNT denied any involvement and said Steve Ingram is obviously a liar and dangerous criminal. Famous motivational speaker Benji Samuels hasn't moved local resident Wayne Peters. I hate seeing these guys talking about how motivated they are and how it made them successful. I watch TV because I'm not motivated, asshole. Stop making me feel bad. Peter says that his heroes are people who've trained their dogs to get a beer out of the fridge or to lick their master's genitals. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Prolapse signs a new endorsement deal with a murdering athlete. CNT and Weasel TV networks have record ratings. Sports News. Football superstar Steve Michaels may have murdered his girlfriend and drowned their dog. But the shoe and exercise clothing juggernaut Prolapse can't get enough of him. It's not about the bad things he did in the past. He runs good with a football. So we want our logo all over it. Fans have largely overlooked his crimes because a football championship is all that matters. TV ratings for the past quarter were released today, with coverage of police chases receiving high praise from advertisers as a fantastic way to reach viewers. Some advertisers decided to stop running commercials during the police chases due to recent allegations that the chases are staged. However, most advertisers say the ratings speak for themselves. America loves a police chase, especially when you get to see a dude shot on live TV. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. A local man is rethinking his stance on mouthing off to police. Jack Howitzer's reality TV show has groups up in arms. Terrence Andrews is rethinking his position on interacting with law enforcement after police shot him in the gut yesterday. He spoke with reporters from his hospital bed. While the life was leaking out of me, I thought maybe I shouldn't mouth off and throw things at the police. I learned a valuable lesson. 
Andrews says he will most likely steer clear of shouting obscenities at police in the future. Movie news. 80s action hero Jack Howitzer was jailed after shooting a radio host in the early 90s. But now he's back and on television. His show, Jack Howitzer is Jack Howitzer in Jack Howitzer, chronicles his quest to get his movie career back on track. But parents' groups are upset at the content. I can't believe the things he does with that sock. It's disgusting. The woman also went on to say that it has sexual and racist overtones, which she prefers to be kept at the kitchen table where they belong. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Naughty's Bar to open in Liberty City. And a street artist has been told to go F himself. Idiotic News. The world's first Naughty's Bar opened in Star Junction yesterday. No, not Naughty. Naughty's. Celebrating the 2000s. A decade without any flavor or style whatsoever. Now represented by a generic theme bar serving plastic food. Carl Kelly is in Liberty City. It's great here. Just like four years ago. Hey, you sir. You having a good time? 2000 to 2010 was a shitty decade. I like this decade better. I have a smartphone now. And I'm out of jail. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. The San Andreas Lotto is up to $500 million. Tattoo artist breaks world record for worst tattoo. Idiotic News. Derek Perinsky is standing in line to buy lottery tickets in a vain attempt to win the $500 million jackpot. Millions of residents are buying lottery tickets in the infinitely small hope that they can end a life of banal suffering. Despite the overwhelming evidence that millionaires are unhappy, many residents can't wait to wallow in that misery for themselves. 95% of San Andreans under the age of 45 now have a tattoo. But most are ignorant egomaniacs with no real sense of who they are. One Los Santos tattoo artist has broken the world record for worst tattoo, claiming to have inked over 500 tribal bands, tramp stamps, treasure maps, human centipede diagrams, and barbed wire biceps. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. The cold abyss of the internet just got warmer with a marriage proposal. And why fatties are flocking to a new fitness craze. Tech News. Hamish Thompson met Shelly Sanders on an internet dating site last Tuesday. The couple went out twice more that week and he proposed via bleeder on the weekend. She accepted his proposal by sending a direct message on Life Invader. Their friends, who are mostly strangers they only know online, say that the marriage is expected to be as cold, joyless, and soulless as the internet. Losing weight finally got fun with a new craze hitting town. Zen Salsa Swinging. A mix of meditation, ballroom dancing, and cuckold sessions has made this man lose 20 pounds. Hey, it's a great form of exercise seeing your wife being double teamed by two guys. It really gets the heart rate up. Classes are open to couples and single women. No previous experience necessary. Weasel News. Confirming your prejudices. This is Weasel News. Experts say meditation may make you crave the wrong sex. And fake, screams the internet at a popular viral video. Tech News. It's been viewed 160 million times on the internet. An adorable video of kittens crawling into a sack of up and at em, pulling out the burger and fries and rollicking and frolicking as one cute kitten figures out how to drink a jumbo shake. But in a still unfolding scandal, it has been revealed that the video was staged by Up and Adam's advertising agency and that the kittens were put in a pillowcase and thrown in a river afterwards. Many residents say they don't care. And the video is adorable. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. The Mile High Masturbator has passengers suing an airline. And my joyless marriage continues. 
idiotic news. Nathaniel Wilkins has a little-known medical condition that causes him to pleasure himself whenever he hears the flight attendant call button on an airplane. Despite his disability, some recent passengers on Fly US Flight 435 are suing the airline, saying that they are forever traumatized by his behavior. This Weasel News Break brought to you by Pisswasser. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. A local man becomes aggressive and then passive in an email. The Corkers lost in extra innings last night. Electronic communication is causing rising levels of both passive and aggressive behavior, say experts, saying many people express the behaviors at the same time. Psychiatrists are worried that the internet and smartphones are creating a civilization that can't focus on anything, does nothing but whine, and is desperate for attention. Every day, millions of Americans seek meaning in a smartphone, only to stare into an unblinking void. Sports News. It's being called the longest game in baseball history. Last night, the Corkers lost in extra innings against the Boers. At midnight, the game had already stretched on for eight hours, having started at four o'clock in the afternoon. But it was still only halfway through. The tie wasn't broken until after daybreak. By then, many of the fans had gone home to look in the mirror and finally admit that the one truly American sport is as tedious and greedy as the country is. This was Weasel News. This is Weasel News. Liberals are fuming at the cartoon Impotent Rage. And a local man claims spinach gave him herpes. Liberals are morons. Liberal groups, in a surprising turn of events, are asking network execs to pull the show Impotent Rage, saying it demeans liberals and is hurtful. Grocery stores are pulling spinach from the shelves after a local man told the news media that he contracted herpes simplex from the tainted vegetable. My wife can't believe it either, but I told her, baby, I travel to Thailand a lot and they don't wash their food so well over there. Nobody else has reported contracting the disease, but officials have encouraged stores to recall spinach anyway. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Neighbors are crying foul at a foul-smelling green home. CO2 levels at an all-time high. People prefer puppies. When the Richardsons moved into this quaint section of homes in the Morningwood section of Los Santos, they never imagined they would get a new neighbor like this. Their neighbors built a green home next door with a roof made out of manure and composting toilets. Sheila Richardson says she's had enough. It smells awful. I hate hippies and their recycling. Grow up and pollute like the rest of us. They plan on complaining to the city. Pollution news. Carbon dioxide levels reached a new high yesterday. A Los Santos man noticed the reports and commented on Life Invader before posting pictures of puppies wrestling, then moved on to the masturbation portion of his morning. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. iFruit says tax reform isn't needed. Can your phone tell if she's a skank? A new app will. The iFruit Corporation testified to Congress that no change in American tax law is needed. Experts say that laws with loopholes that allow companies and executives making billions to pay little or no taxes are exactly what the framers of the Constitution had in mind. The state of San Andreas, and indeed the country, may be flat broke and borrowing money from China, but this is not the time to address the issue, say lawmakers. Phone news. There's nothing worse than desperately pursuing an attractive girl only to discover she's a wretched skank who has been with everybody in the bar. A new app for smartphones is set to save men from heartache. This man said the new app is great. It started beeping like crazy when I held it near her crotch. Saved my life. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Vespucci Beach has been voted a number one homeless destination. Wiz Wireless is giving your phone records to the FIB. Vespucci Beach is the top retirement destination for the homeless. The nation's homeless say they fit right in, as everyone looks a little crazed, has dreadlocks, and is in need of a good bath. 
Others say there wouldn't be a homeless epidemic if the country focused on mental health initiatives and taking care of veterans, but they were quickly shouted down by more patriotic citizens. Tech News. Your life is lived online. Everything you do is electronic, and that information is being shared with law enforcement, according to a recent leak. Wiz Wireless is under fire for offering to hand over calling records and text messages to the government. The feds say that privacy concerns, search warrants, and probable cause are relics of a bygone age. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Could an asteroid hit Earth next week? A local woman found love from government spying. Apocalypse News. Scientists say the asteroid known as QC7 will be dangerously close to Earth next week. If a collision occurs, the 1.5-mile-wide space rock would cause catastrophic damage and most certainly wipe out our species. Space rocks have tried to annihilate mankind before. 50,000 years ago, an asteroid wiped out the dinosaurs after a man foolishly listened to his woman and ate a piece of forbidden fruit. Scientists warn the asteroid will pass 20 million miles from Earth, which they say is really, really close. Jeanette Adams says she is so glad the government has been collecting phone records and reading citizens' email and text messages. If it hadn't been for that, she might still be single. FIB agent Kenny Bryan contacted her out of the blue after reading her private email and postings on Life Invader. The couple are now engaged. Officials point to these kinds of heartwarming stories in defense of the much-publicized surveillance program. This was Weasel News. Weasel News. An anti-toilet cleaner lawmaker caught smoking the drug. Why do girls cry after sex? We have more. Outspoken San Andreas State Senator Morty Alexander, who has been lobbying for a ban on the sale of the synthetic drug known as toilet cleaner, has been caught on film smoking it himself. Even though the clip clearly shows him semi-naked, howling, and dry-humping two scared young women, the man maintains that the substance he was smoking was a harmless herbal tobacco. I was not smoking toilet cleaner with those girls. Who in their right mind does drugs with hot women? Sex News. It happens to many men. You finish a great round of making love and the woman begins to cry. Local man Jeff Unruh says he's had enough. Why do women have to be so confusing? God, I wish I were gay. Scientists say that sex often releases a flood of emotion in women that results in tears after sex. Others say they're crying because you are a totally inadequate lover in every way. Weasel News. Confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. A woman is devastated at a loss on a TV show. And our expert weekend party planner takes you through things fun to huff. Laura Simpson watched Shitty Singer competition every night as her favorite contestant belted out blues standards and ballads, love songs and sonnets. But when Leslie Nelson was voted off last night, Simpson was devastated and may never recover. She was my favorite contestant. I don't even know how I'll move on. Hopefully junk food will soothe me. This is Weasel News. Weasel News, confirming your prejudices. Weasel News. Wildfire season is here. Are you prepared? The San Andreas Legislature passes a transgender bathroom law. Wildfire season is here. The season runs from January 1st to December 31st. The current fire risk is high. Officials ask residents not to flush the toilet, as the water will be in high demand. Others question why anyone would live here, considering the place is constantly on fire, shaking apart in an earthquake, sliding downhill in a mudslide, or bakingly hot. Justice News. The San Andreas State Legislature has passed a transgender bathroom law. At the urging of the singing group She Male Bop, a contestant on the talent show Fame or Shame, lawmakers say that restricting bathrooms shows favoritism. Once the law goes into effect, you can use any bathroom you like. Several politicians expressed excitement at being able to use the women's room. That was Weasel News. 